Hey guys, Average Man here playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Cowabunga Collection and I guess we're gonna go on to the next NES game uh, appropriately titled, titled Part 2, the arcade game. This is the NES port of the ar original arcade game so you're gonna see some differences but keep in mind uh, while we're playing this game the similarities between this game and then the arcade game that I'm gonna be playing later on see the differences and the similarities but before we go into it let's look at the enhancements so in the previous game I had to rely on the rewind feature like I'm not gonna spend so much time uh, doing those death montages I always do so I just had to rely on the rewind if it was unlimited continues I probably wouldn't have done so much but since we found out that there are limited continues and you can't start on certain stages or passwords so I have to rely on that but here if I do game over I could just go to the, the stage I need to go to so hopefully I won't need to use the rewind feature feature uh, shall we remove the slowdown yes let's remove slowdown remove the sprite flicker God mode. We're not gonna turn this on. But if you have little kids that like to play, you could become immune to most damage and defeat most enemies with a single hit. We're gonna leave that off. We're gonna put extra lives on. So yeah, so we could survive a little bit better. Fancy jump kicks. Allow jump kicks to be performed earlier during jumps. Now nah, let's leave that off. Let's have it default default controls. So here here are the enhancements. Everybody got it. Good. So let's dive right in to the arcade game. And yes. Let's do it to it. Ha. Ultra Games presents. Oh, there you go. Look, look at me. I'm playing. I'm playing. No, that's a demo. Who shall we play? Hmm. Let's go with... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this random. I'm looking away. I'm looking away, and we're gonna be Mikey, Michelangelo. Let's do it to it. Fire! Hang on, April. Oh oh! I landed on my keister. Scene one. Fire! We gotta get April out. Here we are. This is oh, this is so much like the arcade experience. You don't have no idea. And of course, as a as a Ninja Turtles uh, product, we always have to have our name everywhere. The top right corner, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, registered trademark. Out. So controls are simple. We got attack, uh, movement. I'm, I'm playing with the. Control pad. Old school. We got jump. We got jump kick. And that's pretty much it. Just two buttons. Oh no! They're busting through the door. One one key difference, you know, besides graphics, between the NES version and the arcade version, they made the stages a little bit longer. Because I think past these stairs in the arcade version, we got another section of the hallway, and then the end of the end of this portion of the level. But here, I think there's like multiple stairs coming up. I think, if I remember correctly, correctly, what am I saying? Ah, apartment bowling balls. Everybody has to live with that in their lifetime, right? And they don't hurt. They don't hurt the foot soldiers. So yeah, this is more attuned to, you know, every, uh, everybody's favorite lore of the cartoon. The previous game, like we don't have no idea what all, a lot of those enemies were. You can actually look into the into the turtles layer option in this game, look up the enemies. Uh, as far as I know, a lot of them have never appeared in any media that I am aware of. They're just uh, 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 
original for the game. Ow! Unless this is an obscure comic character, I'm not sure. Come on. This is a regular beat em up, so there's not much to say. You just gotta stick and move, stick and move, stick and move, Mac! Like the fire guy. The fire guy would actually make sense in this in this stage. We got mutant frogs in that game, but oh no! But again, as I said, that could it could be a punk frog for all we know. Punk frogs are like the mutant uh, mutants that the shredded the shredder did to have. Uh, I can't talk right now. I'm paying attention. I try not to die with one bar left of health. To be rivals to the turtles, but. They weren't evil, they were just like, ah, oh, we'll do our own thing. Do they have uh, oh shell shock. Oh yeah, we have a special attack. It repairs uh, attack and jump at the almost at the same time. It's not at the same time, it's like I can't do it right now for some reason. Oh, wait. Oh, what the? I could do that too. Jump kick. Oh, I was about to say I'm immune to that, but I guess not. There you go. If you're, if you manage to uh, hit with that, it's massive damage, but it takes some of your life away. Oh, oh, it's trying to downstab me, aren't you? Oh, well, take that. Hey, foot soldiers, you're not supposed to take elevators during a fire. What is the matter with you? You know, you know how dangerous that is. Where's April? Come on, we gotta save her. Ah, uh, everybody's favorite robots, the road killed Ronnies. Do not resist us. If I could, am, if, am I able to hit them? This will be a lot better. Ah, shocking, isn't it? Ah. Oh, uh, they're just wild, aren't they? Oh! Ah! Oh, get, just get them stuck there. There you go. Get them stuck there. Get them stuck there. Just looking at the screen. Oh no! Was that April's scream? Help me! Says April. I'm assuming. Doesn't seem to be that much of a fire, April. You could've just walked out the door like I entered. Do, do, do. Whoa, I thought I turned flicker off. Why am I flickering? It's it's the steadier of rocks. Rock steady. Ow. Uh, no. Just trading blows, huh? Do, 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 do. Why is he backing up? Oh. Oh wow. Whoa. Wait a bit more, he's flickering red. That means he's almost done. Yay, we did it. What the? Shredder! Come back! Scene two. Come on! After that shredder creep. I forgot to turn on my timer. Let me look at time over here. We got plenty of time. Aha, take that. Here we are in the streets of Manhattan. Uh, hmm, where where are Leo, Donnie, and Raph? Doing this all by myself. 
Growing up, Michelangelo was, I guess, mine and a lot of little kids' favorite turtle. He's the party dude, come on. Everybody likes, all of them like pizza, but he was the one that liked pizza the most. But growing up, I, 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 now, I now favor Leo more. Ha 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 ha. Look at that, Shredder streaming live on Twitch. Nope, nope, nope. I don't like this one bit. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. And I feel like I could hit this. Yep. And I feel like I could hit this. Ah. I guess I can't. Oh, there we go. I can. I was mistaken, mistaken. You just throw it at me where I was not at. I can't talk today, apparently. But that's okay. You're not here for my commentary, right? Right? You're here for some turtle action. Okay, every time there's a hole, everybody has to go down it. Even though it takes away life. Duh, who put the lights out? Yep. I always have to do it. Dynamite? Ah, the ancient ninja weapon of dynamite. Actually, that may be true. Gunpowder was available during ancient ninja times. But dynamite? I'm not sure. Fact check that, people. And let me know in the comments. Was dynamite around the time gunpowder was invented? But I digress. They could be like little gunpowder bombs. For all I know. Hey, it's a pizza! You could tell because it's, it has says pizza. I may need that. Yay! Full health. It's just a slice of pizza with the words pizza next to it. Get out of here. Yep, just a random passerby. If you wanted to be a jerk, I think you could attack her. And she'll just duck and scream like, ah! Oi! Against the wall. Oh, we got yellow foot soldiers now. Boomerang! It's these guys. It's the Australian ninjas. You never hear them because they're very good. If you ever heard of an Australian ninja, then they're not doing their job. They're not remaining in the shadows. Crikey! Ah, yes! In the original NES version, these signs right there, the black signs, had the logo for Pizza Hut on it. But, you know, that they had to take them out now. Can't be giving them free publicity. And I think, yeah, in the original, I think it came in a box or was at the at the at the last page of the manual. It was a coupon for pizza. That's neat. For a Pizza Hut pizza. Do do do. Oh. And it it will be a cool it will be a cool thing if it it also came with a coupon in this game. But you know. Ha, ah, it is what it is. Haha. And I believe the point oh, it's Bebop. Ow. I believe the point system is just based on how many enemies you defeated. I think the bosses are worth a little bit more. Let's see. Let's see what Bebop will give us. Ah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Into the hole I go. We're just trading blows here. Hey, oh. Oh, uppercut got me. Well, that's 
that's not fair. You knocked me into the sewer. Let's come over here. He's almost down. He's down. Oh, just one point for a boss, huh? Okay, based on that... Whoa. Based on that, I just uh, defeated 131 enemies so far. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's do one more level. We have enough, enough time, right? Right? Level 3 doesn't even have a, an opening uh, cutscene or up opening title. Unless this is considered still stage 2. And then that would mean Bebop was a mid mid uh, stage boss. It's just such a shame. His partner Rocksteady got a full final stage boss. Or not final stage, but stage boss. But he was a mid boss. But no, I believe this is stage 3. Scene 3. Ow. What would we call this? Uh, Into the grody sewers. Mausers! Invented by Baxter Stockman. I believe, at least in a cartoon. The comics, I'm not sure. But in a cartoon, Baxter Stockman, you know, he was trying to be a good guy. He was trying to invent an, an actual good way to exterminate uh, rodents. But, uh. Ah! My hand! Ah! My hand! But the pest, pest controls of New York didn't want it because it would put him out of business. So he was downtrodden. But the Shredder hired him. And, right, and the rest is history. Oh, Sledgehammer. We got Triple H soldiers here. Oh, laying down the hammer. Sword soldiers. I don't know. I don't know if it's a cannon or it's just head cannon. But every foot soldier, I always name them after the weapon they're holding. Kind of like the the Hammer Brothers in Mario. Whatever weapon they have, you name them that. The Hammer Brothers, the Boomerang Brothers, the Fire Brothers, the Sledge Brothers, the Silver Brothers. Uh, you'll be hooked on the brothers, apparently. Okay. Ah, what the? My hand is not a mouse. Don't bite it. Don't bite it. No, 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 buddy. Ah, we got bars coming down. The sewer bars. Whoa! We got missiles. So, do we deal with bars or missiles? Yikes. Nice. And yes, I know it's kind of ironic. The ones that just regular punch and, and attack still call them foot soldiers, not punch soldiers or hand soldiers. Just regular foot soldiers. Okay, they're just going into the water. They just they just want to swim. Aha! On my hand. Never mind. I thought they were gonna be cute and docile, but no. That that, that was their plan all along. Ah. Kick them. Dagger soldiers? Give a name to all these soldiers. Eh. Kaboom. It's Baxter Stuckman in a Dr. Robotnik machine. Oh, you know, all the doctors come together and share ideas. I guess if I want more points, I should be destroying the Mausers, but nah. 
And I tried to take this guy out. Ah, my hand. Okay, uh. come here, come here. Why are you running? Why are you running? Come on. Come down here and fight like a, a turtle. Even though you're not a turtle at all. I'm a turtle. Oh, he's glowing red. That's a good sign. There you go. Take that. Woo! Turtle power. What the? He transformed right away. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Huh. Yeah, Baxter scene oh scene three. Let's melt snow and rebuild New York City. Nice. Okay, so that was still part of stage two. I was mistaken. But here we are. This is a new level for the NES version. This level was not in the arcade version. But we'll tackle that next time. Until next time, this is Average Man saying, see ya.